Ah! Christ! Don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry. Things have had me on edge recently. Harness land has undergone a slight recession. So, to stimulate the economy, I bet our whole GDP that Flightline would become the first horse to land on the moon. Unfortunately, the people have come asking for the money up front. Things are looking pretty grave. I don't know if this is too good to be true. Oh. See, the grounds of Harness Land are rich in resources and minerals. We're constantly having to defend ourselves from rogue prospectors, which is why, behind the United States and Russia, we are the world's third largest nuclear superpower. Hey, hey you! Don't make me break out that nuclear football! Yeah, that's right. Supposedly, a treasure from eight centuries ago rests under this soil, which I'm looking to dig up and sell. Look. I really feel Flightline can do this. We all watched that Pacific Classic. Flavian didn't even ask him. It looks like all Pratt needs to do is just get that horse at the right angle and he is airborne. After all, that's how it worked for the Wright brothers. There just hasn't been a horse like him. And I remember horses. Even one like Secretariat couldn't sail across the Atlantic. He was no match for that iceberg. <laughs> And it looks like the ancients weren't bluffing. Now you run away from there. Don't think I don't see you plotting to steal my treasure. Now this might not look like anything. And that's not because it's just a rolled up piece of paper. That's because when you open it, it doesn't look like anything. But that's because of ancient technology. See. The sorcerer of Harness Land told me the story of this treasure when I was a wee lad. He said to me, To decipher the blank, you must use two parts elixir, one part sustenance. It's a shame what happened to him. One day he lost his keys, so he thought the easiest way to find them was to be like the keys. So he made himself disappear. Haven't seen his car drive since. But uncovering the message is real simple. Bleach and mayonnaise. Gosh, damn ancients and their cryptography. Wait, shoot. Oh. Wait a second. Lex. That, that's a racetrack, Lexington, the Red Mile. And they race this weekend, o October 9th, 10 9. Oh. Yeah, 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 they race. And. 2-2. It's been 2,022 years since our Lord and Savior Hamiltonian died. But that's a racetrack and a date, but what's what, what's the 11? Ah. Race 11, maybe? Let's, let's see, what's here? Race 11. Alaraj Open Pace, okay. Who's in here? Bulldog, Bulldog Hanover. 
Cold dog, 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 Inside that chest wasn't a treasure. That's a prophecy. Something big is happening at the Red Mile on October 9th. 2022. Bulldog Hanover, the fastest standard bread on the planet, is going to try the unimaginable. Going even faster. Here's the thing. Ever since 1993, everyone thought the fastest a standard bread could go a mile was 146 and 1 when Cam bested it in Springfield, Illinois. No one beat that time. Ever. Well, not until Always Be Mickey did it in 2016 when he paced a mile in 146 at the Red Mile. And the Red Mile has always been the place for speed. After all, eight of the last 15 fastest times on record over a mile track were set in Lexington. Then came along Bulldog. In a three week span, he matched the all time fastest mile, then matched Cam Best's record, then flat beat the record when he paced a mile timed in 145 and 4. He's unprecedented. He has to be trying for the record on October 9th at the Red Mile. It's no coincidence that in the same year, we have a thoroughbred like Flightline breaking the limits of human imagination, and a standard bred like Bulldog Hanover seeing just how fast a horse can go before they explode. If we had two more horses like them in the same year, I'd be worried it's the apocalypse. I can't sell that scroll. Not only is the treasure priceless, but after he beats the world record, I imagine the prophecy will be worth way more. Those people can come for their money if they want. What we hold here on these grounds of harness land is much more precious than the dollar now. But come the dollar of the future, these will be the most treasured grounds in the whole world. A ground that will reward the people of Harness Land. And not the thieves attempting to reap its soil. I hope to never resort to the nuclear option.